How's it going everybody? Yannick is here and today on April Fools we are going to unbox some water guns. Spira Go. And there's two of them in here. Um, I don't really, I ordered the, I ordered the first one that kind of came out that was originally like on Kickstarter or whatever. I thought it was too big, too heavy, um, just unwieldy, so I ended up returning it. This, uh, I've been waiting for them to finally come out with, and I think this will be um, a lot better than the bigger stuff. So we'll, we'll see. It's supposed to only weigh three pounds, but I'm excited to check this out. So let's jump into it. Spira Go. Blue one and Spira Go in red. And then the only other thing in here is Spira Blast reusable magnet water bombs. That's interesting. I did not even order this. They just uh, included this. So I'm actually curious to see more about that. Box is empty besides that. So let's toss that aside and go ahead and start cracking one of these guys open. Let's see here. There's some tape on the sides. There's the back of the box. Ready, set, go. Tank slider. Express refill, USB-C powered, 3000 water blast, LED indicator. Oh, missed a piece of tape. Yeah, I'm curious to see. Oh, do they really? Oh my gosh, they have the freaking wires. They have it wired in. Let's try this side. There we go. Yeah, they have these wires to keep it in place. I'm going to have to get some scissors. Go ahead and cut this wire here. And over here. And then the last one. Got it. All right, there is Spira Go. Spira or Spira? Still a huge gun. I'm not exactly sure why they go with unwieldy seems to be. I mean, this is their lower end and this thing is huge. This is a, like a two-hander. Now it's only three pounds, so you could... I already has a battery charge. You could hold this uh, with one hand, but um, yeah. And then in here is just a little screw. It looks like the micro, hopefully, no, this is USB-C. The USB-C slot is screwed in to keep it water sealed. And this looks like the water tank. It just closes. So yeah, you just pour water in there and close it shut and that should be it. So let's go ahead and do this as a test. I'm gonna go ahead and fill water in here. I don't see, I actually thought, I thought this had an LED indicator, but I don't see one. So let's go, I should probably read the instructions. I'm very bad about that. One of my pet peeves is um, bad directions. The shit should just say step one, do this, put water. Step two, do this. Nothing in here. This is a, this is a CVS receipt. We don't, we're going to get that out of here. I'm going to go put some water in this hole and then try to shoot it. That's what I'm going to do. Let's 
see if we can shoot this. That's actually pretty awesome. That is pretty cool. See, get this on camera here. It's a pretty powerful blast. Anyways, that's been a quick unboxing of the Spyro Go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the blue one now, but if you like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. And uh, actually it looks like it's leaking a little bit. Interesting. Let's see. Yeah, Simon. It is leaking. Where is it leaking out of? Anyways. That's the Spyro Go. See you guys in the next one.